Belfort is a prosperous industrial city in eastern France. Cars, trains and streetcars are produced here. Immigrants from the former French colonies in North Africa have played an important role in the city's success. Many came here to take factory jobs in the 1970s and made Belfort their home. They comprise some 10 percent of the city's population. But now they find themselves feeling unwelcome in their own community, following comments made by Mayor Damien Meslot. He said that Belfort is considering taking in refugees from Iraq and Syria, but for now, only Christians. I don't want to take them in because they're Christians, but because they're persecuted. I'm surprised at the criticism from the left-wing parties and certain media organizations. You get the impression that because they're Christians, we have no right to take them in. Protests decrying Islamophobia are unwelcome. Meslo is quick to dismiss them by publicly attacking his opponents. The Muslim Brotherhood are known for their provocations. Ms. Lowe's remarks have provoked outrage well beyond Belfort's borders and been denounced by France's interior minister. The mayor isn't giving interviews at present, but for Belfort's Muslim population in particular, his message has come through loud and clear. I'm Algerian and have been here 37 years. If I could return to Algeria and work, I'd have left long ago rather than deal with the racism here. It's got to stop. Samia Jaber is one of the mayor's biggest opponents. Born to an Algerian family, she's fought her way to the top in Belfort and had a seat on the city council for years. The socialist hopes to combat the prevailing anti-Islamic sentiment, which she believes is politically motivated. Our mayor, Damien Meslo, is wooing Front National supporters. But that's a losing battle, in which you lose your values and your soul. Ms. Lowe and his Republicans are trying to attract supporters of far-right parties like the Front National, which won a record 24 percent of the vote here in local elections this year. Ms. Lowe is looking to do better in upcoming regional elections, and his gamble could pay off. With non-Christian refugees, we can't be sure they don't belong to IS. I'm with Mr. Ms. Lowe, that's all. Merci. Au revoir. The mayor also has the support of the Catholic Church. Together, the city and the diocese have set up an organization to welcome Christian refugees. But church representatives say they're not discriminating against refugees of other religions. As Christians, we have a special fraternity with our Christian brothers. But we know that in Syria and Iraq, there are also other minorities that are being persecuted. That includes the Yazidis, the Kurds, and other Muslim minorities. We'll welcome anyone sent to us. In the coming months, France expects to take in some 24,000 such refugees. That's a relatively small number compared with the amount being taken in by other European countries. Still, racist sentiment is growing in France. In many French cities, Muslims and Jews keep to themselves to avoid confrontations. But that hasn't been the case in Belfort. The mayor's comments are regrettable. But you must remember that many in Belfort were refugees themselves. Belfort took in many Alsatians in 1871 after the Franco-German War. Across Europe, there are people who've been forced to flee their homes. Often they were treated well, and we must continue to do that. But the growing intolerance towards the Muslim population is increasing tensions and sparking racist incidents. Bus drivers here mobbed a Muslim colleague who showed up at their soccer club wearing a jacket with Arabic writing on it. Samia Jaber blames Damien Meslo for such incidents. By demonizing minorities, she says he's failed as a mayor. I'd like to return to the way things were in our city, when comments were measured and balanced. Now people take positions that are divisive and create tensions. We've never had tensions here. I'd like to revert to our peaceful tradition. Mayor Meslo has driven a wedge between Christians and Muslims here, so it's ironic that around half of Belfort's Muslim voters helped him get elected. It seems unlikely he'll receive their vote next time around.